Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Every estate across England has got handymen, people that may not have full-time legitimate employment, but in the area, they are paid by people to help with odd jobs, like doing the gardening or cutting a hedge or maybe painting a shed. But sadly, some people have taken advantage of this in recent years where window cleaning has become a bit of an awkward job you have to really know somebody to be able to build up a decent client list now due to the fact of the amount of burglaries that are done using these types of odd job disguises this story is from tottenham and it involves a man called reese dempster and the victim was dorothy Woolmer. rest in peace she was 89 years old and she was murdered in her home in August 2019. The court heard that Dorothy, known to her friends as Dot, had lived in North London for many years. But in 2017, her husband passed away. They had been married since 1953. Friends and family described Dorothy as a very independent woman and despite her age, did her own cleaning and looked after herself. Each week, her sister would collect £300 and buy Dorothy her shopping. The balance usually in excess of 200 given back to Dorothy and she would keep the cash in her home. In July 2019, Dorothy told her sister about a man that had called at the house to do some gardening work for her. Although did she, she did not identify him to her sister, a witness would later say that they seen Reese Dempster cutting Dorothy's hedge. During the evening of the 3rd of August 2019, Dorothy spoke on the phone to her best friend and they discussed arrangements for the following morning. On Sunday, the son of one of Dorothy's friends went to deliver her Sunday paper and to collect some vegetables. He posted it through the door and then knocked, but as there was no answer, he walked home and told his mother. Dorothy's friend went to the house, but she got no reply. She called Dorothy's sister. Together, shortly after 10.30, they used a spare key to gain access to the house. In the bedroom, they found Dorothy's body. Her night clothing was disheveled and she had been subjected to a horrific assault. Police and the ambulance arrived and Dorothy was pronounced dead at the scene. A post-mortem examination on Monday the 5th of August found that Dorothy had been subjected to a brutal assault, physical and also sexual. She had head injuries, multiple fractures to the bones in her face, a fracture to the right thigh. The injuries were most likely to be the result of being kicked punched and beaten with a blunt object. A 40 centimetre truncheon was found next to her body and that had been used in the attack. The post-mortem examination also showed that Dorothy had been violently sexually assaulted. An immediate investigation was launched by the homicide detectives. Officers found the back garden gate had been forced open, but the kitchen door was actually open. There was no sign of forced entry in the actual house. And it seems most likely that Reese Dempster had stolen a key when he was pretending to have done the gardening work. Witnesses indicated that two bottles of alcohol were missing as well, along with Dorothy's purse as it was kept on the cabinet. Forensic examination of the scene recovered DNA and fingerprints that identified the suspect as Dempster. Some of the fingerprints had blood in, indicating that, that he left after the vicious attack and his DNA was found on the truncheon as well used to assault Dorothy. The day after the brutal attack, CCTV showed Dempster casually walking past Dorothy's house on separate occasions on his own and also with other people. He was recorded entering an address on Spottings Grove in North London carrying a bag that the police believe contained the alcohol stolen from Dorothy's house. Police made inquiries immediately into Dempster and found out who he was staying with, family and friends at various addresses in Tottenham. At the address in Spottons Grove, police later recovered the two bottles of alcohol that matched the description of those stolen and the purse identified as belonging to Dorothy. A witness that Dempster came into contact with before he was arrested said that Reese had been drinking and smoking crack cocaine before the murder and said that he went to rob a house. He also said, I think I hurt someone. And then he said, I turned a light on and there was blood everywhere and then I ran away. 
They also reported, he said, I only got £100. It wasn't even worth it, he said. As a result of the police inquiries, Dempster was arrested at 5 past 6 on Monday the 5th of August in Tottenham. He was interviewed and declined to answer any questions but was charged on the 7th of August. And with the CCTV that shows him walking away from the scene, going to her house, walking away and then also going past the house afterwards, he was also shown throwing up outside the house in the morning after the murder. Maybe some would think that this is because of the horrible thing that he did, but maybe it's because he stole alcohol and maybe he just drank too much alcohol. Because something tells me this guy doesn't have a conscience and he made it even worse for the family by denying his involvement. So I really want people to pay respects to Dorothy Warmer. Rest in peace and my condolences to your family. To a woman that lived a wonderful life and contributed so much to have left in such a horrible way. So whatever you're doing today, please stay safe. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again shortly with some more news. Thank you. Peace.